Thanks for clicking on the webcast. I'm Laura Queso. Here's the latest from WENY HD News and the Star Gazette. We turn now to the tragic house fire on Elmira's south side that took the lives of four children. Family members have confirmed the identities of those children who were killed Friday night at a home on Morrow Street. The victims are 17-year-old Courtney Stanton and her siblings, 10-year-old Amira Mansour, 7-year-old NJ Mansour, and 5-year-old Jordan Mansour. Our media partner, the Star Gazette, reports their mother, Tina Parker, had just left the home before flames broke out. Fire swept through the home a little after 9 Friday night. When firefighters arrived, the house was fully engulfed in flames. They tell us the children were on the second floor of the house when that fire broke out. Neighbors and fire crews worked together to get the children out. Sadly, they later passed. On Saturday, close to 200 family and friends filled Morrow Street for a candlelight vigil. There's now a memorial outside of the house with dozens of stuffed animals, flowers, and candles, all in memories all in memory of those four lives. Authorities are still investigating a cause of the fire. Funeral arrangements have not been announced, but stay with us for times and dates. Tough story. Our hearts go out to the family. And we have our car recall to tell you about this morning. Ford is recalling about 370,000 cars because of possible corrosion to the steering shaft that may corrosion to the steering shaft that may result in the loss of steering. The recall includes 2005 to 2011 Ford Crown Victoria, Mercury Grand Marquis, key and Lincoln Town cars. Dealers will inspect the cars and will make repairs. About 355,000 cars included in the recall are in the U.S., about 15,000 in Canada. Not all states are included in the recall, but owners in other states can request an inspection from a dealer. Whether you have plans to visit Seneca Lake or maybe take a road trip downstate, it's no question that lots of people are hitting the road to celebrate Labor Day. And if you're hitting the road, you want to hear this. Gas prices are moving higher following oil prices near a two-year high. According to AAA, a gallon of regular gas is up two cents. But AAA says you'll see more people driving because gas is still a lot cheaper than it was last year. It's actually about 20 cents cheaper now. But fill up while you can. The risks are for higher gasoline prices ahead. A potential strike on Syria could boost gas prices in the short term. Today in New York, a gallon of regular is about 388. In PA, it's 362. Speaking of Syria, Congressman Tom Reed is holding several meetings to gather input on the crisis. Reed is conducting three separate town hall meetings tomorrow. He'll be at the Big Flats Town Hall at 8 in the morning. At 10 a.m., he'll be at the Owego Town Hall. And at 1 p.m., he'll be at Geneva Fire Hall. Reed will conduct three more meetings in Hornell, Olean, and Dunkirk on Wednesday. Times and locations for those meetings have not yet been announced. Everybody wants to know what the Labor Day forecast is, so let's head over to meteorologist John Hickey with more. John. Uh, likely going to be a stormy one there, Laura. We had some of those nasty storms come through last night. Probably woke you up a lot earlier than you wanted to this morning. Uh, we got rid of those, a little shower activity this morning. And then we're going to wait on the potential for some more stronger storms as we go into your afternoon. A trailing trough of low pressure comes through tomorrow. Fancy way to say that we may see a couple of showers for tomorrow afternoon. But then a beautiful stretch of weather starts for your day on a Wednesday. Let's look at it here on your future track forecast. It's 8 o'clock this morning. I know future track isn't showing it, but there will be a couple of light scattered showers. And we get rid of those in the afternoon. The sky becomes cloud filled. We'll see some storms. Monitoring severe potential, some disagreement in our models. So it's going to be one of those days where we kind of wait and see and watch the radar very closely. Uh, if they do, they'll be fairly isolated with the strong to severe storms, otherwise kind of garden variety. Greatest threat in some of those stronger storms today would be hail and gusty winds. Uh, going into your Tuesday, this is what I'm talking about. Here's that trailing trough of low pressure. A couple of light showers, a possibility for Tuesday afternoon. But after that, fantastic stretch of weather and a really cool day. Look at Thursday, high 70 degrees. That's some cool stuff, some of the coolest we've seen in a while. We warm it back up for the weekend with a shower or storm threat going into Saturday. That's your forecast. Here's Laura. All right, fall is back. Thanks, John, for the latest news, weather, and sports. Be sure to watch WENY HD News at noon, 5 30, 6, and 11. And don't forget to pick up a copy of today's Star Gazette. I'm Laura Queso. Have a great one.